nine, three, two, one, go. And once again, the first 15 seconds of the match are programmed by human players, the robots doing what you see right now. One element that was added this year was over in the terminal areas in the corner of each field, a human player can try to load cargo in the hub from the outside. Now, two minutes and 15 seconds, the human players on the outside control the actions of the bots on the field. We call the field an arena. That's the center hub that you see the blue and red cargo being loaded into. The upper hub right now worth two points for their alliance. The lower hub worth one. That's 69-19 and 14-14 scoring in the upper hub. 12-61, the Robo Lions. They're getting into position, trying to score as IHOT collecting that cargo off of the tarmac. They're going to take that car, Mac. They get into position as 41-12. The Eagle Bots score in the upper hopper for the Red Alliance. Three more pieces of cargo loaded into that upper hub for the Blue Alliance. 58-28. Dancing around the tarmac right now as 41-12 dances with IHOT. 12-61, the Ro Robo Lions have cargo in their possession. Looks like they're going to try to get into possession to load that cargo as 69-19. The Commodores load that cargo in the lower hub. Once it goes into the hub, it gets spun around and delivered through the chutes back onto the tarmac for the robots to collect and load. Again, scoring as many times as they possibly can. If an alliance can get 20 pieces of cargo into that hub, they will gain a valuable ranking point as it's now 32 to four with 45 seconds left to go in favor of the Blue Alliance as one, two, one bounces out for the Blue Alliance. One scores for the Red Alliance. There's another shot by the IHOT team into the upper hopper, upper hub, worth two points. We're down to under 30 seconds left to go now. It's 12:61. The Robo Lions. They're at the hangar. They've got their arms extended. They're going to try to lift themselves up, like IHOT has done over on the Blue Alliance. At 69:19, the Commodores continue to score. IHOT. Climbs from the six-point rung to the ten-point rung as the Robo Lions are hanging on the six-point rung. There goes another shot off for the Red Alliance. It's 14-14. IHOT makes it to the traversal rung. That worth 15 points for their alliance. 69-19 raises themselves up off of the surface of the hangar at the last second, gaining another six points for their alliance. It's 15 points where IHOT is. It's 10 points below that, six points and four points for the rungs that you see in the hangar. Match number four of 63 now completed as we await that Boeing 787's trip into the sky, pulling the banner, telling us who was victorious in that match. All right, watch the skies high above as we see that the <laughs> Blue Alliance is victorious. You can see that with the 787 pulling their banner behind them with a score of 57 to 12. As you can see, they gained another ranking point because they gained more than 16 points in their hangar. 15 for the top rung that they're on and six for the center rung, that was 21 points for that alliance. Gain more than 16 points in the hangar, you get a ranking point. Load more than 20 cargo, you get a ranking point. That helps in the final standings.